Hello everyone, Frank here. Have you ever wanted a universal computer? A computer that could run Apple software? A computer that could run Windows software? And maybe even a computer that could run Linux and Unix? Well, if you watch this video, I'll show you how you can turn your Mac Mini, your MacBook Pro, or your iMac into a universal computer using virtualization software called Parallels. So the first question you might have is, why would I even need or want a universal computer? And that's a legitimate question. If you're happy using just Windows or just OS 10 or just Linux, then you might be completely happy with what you have and you don't need to think about having a universal computer. A lot of times we don't necessarily have that choice. We may have applications that we need to run for work or school that only run on one operating system or another. And the problem is we don't want to have to go and buy multiple computers and we don't want to have to configure them and then make sure that we're hauling them around on the right day for the right job. So what we can do instead is we can take our Mac and we can install a program called Parallels. What Parallels will allow me to do is to install another operating system on my Mac as a guest operating system. And it'll behave just like that operating system because it is that operating system. Let's take a look at how once I've installed Parallels, I can install Windows and some of the things I can do, how I can install Linux, how I can even install a clean version of Mac OS X on my Mac so I can use that for development and testing. It's really powerful and it turns my Mac into a universal computer. To get Parallels, just go to Parallels.com and you can buy it. I even have a code, Learn with Frank VM, that'll give you a 15% discount. When we first launch it, it'll want to install Windows 11 for ARM64. And by default, it'll be the home edition. But we can change that if you have a license. I happen to have an extra pro license, so I can use that. Now, I'm not going to install now. I'm going to skip and go back to the installation assistant. I can still install Windows 11 or any other operating system. There's a number of free Linuxes I can download, and I can also download Mac OS 10. We'll go ahead and install Windows, so we'll continue here, and I will again, it'll be the home edition, so I'll, I'll use my Pro license here, and we'll say done. Now it is important with other operating systems, if I want to use an ISO file to install an operating system, that it is an ARM64 compatible if I'm using the Mac M1, M2 silicone. Now notice it's just like a regular installation, although I have sped it up for this video, it does the installation of Windows as if you had a brand new hardware, you accept the license agreement, you get a little welcome here from Parallels that gives you some advice on installing applications, things like coherence mode, which I'll show you in a moment, just some information about Parallels. I also like to go in, make sure we have all our updates here. If you have antivirus, you'll want to put that on there. It is a full operating system as if you had a computer. Uh, it's a computer inside a computer. In fact, some of the cool things is that my files will be shared with my Mac, so I can easily move files between my Mac, the host system, and Windows, my guest system. I can also install programs. There's a number by default there. If I go up here to Windows, you can get information about it. Uh, I can do things like open up the file explorer, the control panel, different applications from the file menu there. Another neat thing that I can do here is if I go into edit, I can actually go and insert from my iPad or my iPhone, like take a photo. Uh, so I have an iPad and an iPhone here. I can do things like go into different view modes. Let's look at coherence, which takes away the Windows windows and just allows the the individual application windows to float in your Mac environment. Windows is still in the background and I can exit that by going in exiting coherence mode. This is the windowed mode which shows me the entire windows environment but I can use coherence mode to float those different windows. Travel mode reduces the amount of energy I use and I can always pause and shut it down as well. Snapshots are a little bit more complex but it's a point in time snapshot. I'll, I'll do another video on that and Parallels Tools is what allows me to share between my host and my my desktop. So between my Mac and my Windows, it's parallel tools that allows that to happen. I can also go in and do the configuration where I can change how things behave. One of the things that's really neat here is I can actually change the hardware of my virtual machine to give it more RAM or more CPU. Uh, it takes it from the host system. I can do things like security. I can do things like backups. So it's a highly customizable environment to get a virtual machine that exactly matches your needs. I can also connect devices instead of connecting 
connecting to the host, my Mac system, I can connect it to my virtual machine. Things like sound output, microphone for input, things like camera, things like sharing different file systems and folders, keyboards, uh, strokes that I can push into the virtual machine. So you have a lot of different options there. I can go to the control center and you can see here, Windows 11 is a guest operating system in my environment. So that's very interesting. I can even create another virtual machine. So let's go in and this time I'll create a Linux machine. So we we'll use Ubuntu Linux. And now what I can do is install Ubuntu Linux. Now, again, this is installing a completely separate operating system that will run at the same time as my Windows machine. So I'll have Mac as my host. I'll have Windows as a guest. I'll have Linux as a guest. Now you do want to have a fairly powerful machine if you're going to run multiple virtual machines all at the same time because they are sharing the resources of your Mac, of your host system. But it's very interesting that I can run multiple operating systems at the same time. And you'll see here that now I have Linux running. So now I have both Windows and I have Linux running on the same machine at the same time. Notice both of them are sitting here, the Windows 11 and the, and the Ubuntu Linux for ARM64. Let's do another machine. This one's kind of fun. Now what I'm going to do is install a Mac on my Mac. So I'm going to have a Windows machine, a Linux machine, and another version of Mac OS X running all on my Mac Mini. I'm using a Mac Mini M1 with 16 gigs of RAM and a terabyte drive. So it installs the Mac on the Mac. This is great for things like development or if I want to have a nice clean environment to do a demo or something along those lines, but it's a complete Mac operating system. Again, I've sped up the installations. They, they do take a little bit longer than you're seeing here on the screen. And it's just, again, as if I bought a brand new Mac. You can even restore from a time capsule. So now I've got a Windows machine, a Linux machine, and a Mac machine all running on the same system which I think is pretty cool. Now you do want to make sure that your system, of course, can handle this. And I'll just rearrange the windows here. Now you might be, well, what if I want to use Unix? Well, you don't have to install Unix, although Linux is a derivative of Unix, or it's a, basically a clone. It's the same as Unix. If you, if you learn Linux, you'll learn Unix. But if I want to go to a pure Unix environment, I'm not going to do that through a virtual machine. Instead, I'm going to go in, I'm just going to open up a terminal window. So you can open up a terminal window. And from the terminal window, I can go to the bash shell because Mac OS X is in fact Unix. So it's uh, BSD Unix. So I'll just go to the bash shell and that's a full, full Unix environment there. So now my Mac has become a universal computer. I've got Windows, I've got Linux, I've got Mac on Mac, and I've got Unix running in a terminal window. Pretty cool stuff. Well, I hope you found that interesting. And if you're interested in getting your own copy of Parallels, you can actually get a discount. They gave me a discount code you can use. It's called Learning with Frank VM. So I'll put that down below in the comments below. But if you use that code, you'll get a 15% discount on your own copy of Parallels and you can create your own universal computer.